guys and welcome back to another plan with me video this week i will be planning from april the 8th to april the 14th one week to go until easter which has to be undoubtedly one of the favorite times of year for me reason being i get to eat chocolate for breakfast next sunday and no one can judge and traditionally we eat hot cross buns on the good friday for breakfast toasted buttered yum delicious so i cannot wait for that um, we also have some plans for some friends to come over and some family to come over next week so super excited for that um in the meantime though we do have to plan this week just gone so i'm filming today being the 14th of april um the kit that i am using today is a wednesday planning kit um, as you guys know i am a pr for wednesday planning um She's currently closed at the moment as she is away in Japan. If any, any of you um, are in the Planners Anonymous, Planners Anonymous, Planners Addicts Australia, there should be a Planners Anonymous and I should be the head founder because I have a serious addiction. Um, but Planners Addicts Australia, she's actually, Emily of Wednesday Planning has actually been posting um, some photos of her trip um, while she's over in Japan. But um, with that said, because she is overseas, the shop is currently closed, but that will not, um, you just can, you can't place orders currently, her shop is closed, but of course when she does return, you can use my PR code, which will be linked below, um, which is mo 15 for a 15% discount on your orders. With that said, and as mentioned, I'm using a Wednesday planning kit um, for this week. Um, I have gone ahead and I've put down my work labels and I've put down my overlays just to save having to do them on camera. Um, so these are your full boxes. It's very pastel, very beautiful, very sort of neutral palette as well. Like, yes, these boxes say Happy Easter, but you could obviously leave them out if you wanted to and use the others. Very, very pretty kit. Um, these are your today's to-dos, build dues, work labels, uh, habit trackers, weekly trackers your checklists some deco some date dots some washi strips and or headers depending on how you want to use those um you've then got your weekend banner so you've got the option of two you've got some page flags half boxes quarter boxes your weekly uh not your weekly or your um in this instance star checklists and then you have your date headers and bottom washi strips um really really love this bottom washi and these headers i'm probably going to bring in some gold foiled numbers for this week um but yeah that's the kit that i'm using i'm also going to be bringing in um some of these foil silver foiled glitter headers for the spread i thought these colors went quite well i'm contemplating i don't know if i'm going to yet but i'm contemplating whether or not i want to skip out one and bring in the pink but I might just go the pastels I mean they go well enough the green's the only one that's sort of a real real stretch but I think because it's pastel it should go fine um okay so with that said guys um I am going to speed through um doing all of my whiting out putting down my full boxes um, I'm going to then come back and check in with you, um, but I'm probably going to do the same as I did last week in terms of planning the week out and then coming back to you guys um, to go through my plans for the week. So let's get straight into it. Bye. 
This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a Hey guys, okay, we are back. Apologies for the lighting, it is getting quite overcast here. Um, so I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as I can because where I'm sitting, I'm right in front of a window and if it rains, it is going to pour on me. Um, but these are the full boxes laid out. I really, really like this. I'm loving the color scheme of the kit. Um, I'm going to, as I said, as per last week, I'm going to speed you through planning out the week and then I'll come back and actually talk through it just to give you guys, uh, guys a bit of an idea of the stores that I've used so far so as I mentioned the kit is from Wednesday planning so all of these full boxes um, the bottom washi and the date headers are from Wednesday planning I've then brought in some page flags with silver foil from Arctic paper studio I have a combination of foiled overlays so I've got SPC I have Arctic paper studio I have Monique plans, uh, more Arctic paper, both Monique plans, and of course Scribble Prints Co. So those are the overlays I've used so far. Um, I'm going to get into planning out the week. Um, I'm going to put some music on for you guys, um, and I will come back to you in just a minute, or a couple of minutes rather. <laughs> See you soon.
Loving me was all you tried when you were around. I've been told too many times now. Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around. I've been told too many times now. But somewhere. Okay guys, I am back. I did have to do a little bit off camera. Um, our dog was being a spazzo as normal. Our neighbors are being super loud and I didn't want to catch that on video. Um, even though I'm doing a speed up, I just, by the time we go downstairs, deal with the dog, come back up, I did go away for a little bit and come back. So I just filled in everything and then thought I would just come back and talk you through everything. Um, okay, so let's talk through the week. So this is obviously how the spread uh, ended up looking for the week. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It looks a lot busier than I thought it was going to, and I still have to go back and put some icons in. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So um, in my sidebar, I just put my no spend. I haven't marked that off yet. I haven't. I think I bought one thing from a D stash, and I'm looking to buy a couple of things tonight. But otherwise, I didn't buy anything this week. Not even my wiggle wednesday um i'm thinking about putting well i was going to put happy mail here but i think what i'm going to start doing moving forward is my pr schedule now that i'm a pr for three different shops i need to keep track of and start posting regularly for the stores um to help promote them and things like that so i think moving forward what i might do is actually put my weekly tracker in here <coughs> and start putting in the days that i'm going to post for each so I'll probably start that next week. Um, okay, so Monday. As per usual, Coffee Monday. Always marked, forever. Till death do I part. Will Coffee Monday be marked in my planner? Who can survive on a, a Monday without coffee? Um, I've then, of course, got work. I then wanted to mark a really special occasion. Now, I hit 100 subscribers. So to all of you who are currently subscribed, I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting my channel. Um, I was really, really happy to get my 100 subscribers mark. I thought it would take forever, but here we are. Um, truth be told, I actually hit 100 subscribers on the Sunday, I think it was. But as you can see, I didn't really have any room to mark it in. So I carried that over to the Monday. 
Um, as you guys know, I am doing a giveaway. I will nut out all of the bits and pieces probably tonight or this afternoon and we'll post on Instagram um, as to how to enter. <clears throat> so there'll probably be a couple of different goodies from my personal collection and um, from a couple of the stores that I PR for. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I will insert it below, but you can find me at Mellow Plans. So that's M-E-L-O-P-L-A-N-S and all of the details for the giveaway will be posted there very soon. So check that out. Now I can't remember, I put it in there for safekeeping. Maps ended on Sunday or Monday last week. I can't remember. I can always post over that as a cancelled or a note later on. But yeah, I couldn't remember if it was actually still on on Monday or whether the last night was on the Sunday. Um, as per usual, I've then marked in home and away. Um, on Tuesday, we had work. It was busy. We're still going through the motions of this new pilot. So it was very, very busy. One call can take you like two, two and a half hours. Um, so I wanted to mark that in. Tuesday was a laundry day as well. I also wanted to mark in Harvey came home a little bit later than normal on Tuesday. He had to pick up my brother and he was late at work. Um, but he had to go to Bunnings. So he actually came home and gave me um, some undo. So I got undo. First time I've ever had undo. I have used it with, and it is fantastic. Um, but yeah, Harvey brought that home for me. So I wanted to mark that down. And then on Tuesday night, um, I'd had a bit of a YouTube binge. And I, of course, watched Home and Away. On Wednesday, I've just marked in work and, of course, a little hump day with Debbie Downer there. Um, I then marked in that I got two lots of Happy Mail, so I got a delivery from Scribble Prince Co. and Wednesday Planning. Um, I then edited my last week's video on Wednesday night. And I also wanted to make note um, that my friend, my planner friend Liz, um, if you don't follow her on YouTube already or on Instagram, you can find her under Planner Bliss with Liz. She actually hit her 100 subscribers this week as well. Um, and I wanted to mark that down. So I've just put in some little balloons in there and marked that down in my planner because I thought that was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I'll leave her link below as well. Her channel is really fun. Um, she's about to start doing some really cool videos. She's doing some Q&A videos, some assumption videos. I think they might be all one in the same. I think she's doing like Q&A and assumptions. Um, so again, if you guys haven't seen her channel, if you haven't checked her out, hit her up on Instagram, hit her up on YouTube, leave her some assumptions, leave her some questions, and she will answer those in an up and coming video. Um, and of course, the last thing to mark on Wednesday was home and away. On Thursday, it was a really good friend of mine's birthday, so she turned 31, so I wanted to mark that in because it's a special occasion. Um, I had work. Thursday was a really busy day. We were really short staffed, so again, with this work pilot, there is 10 people, so I think we've got like 150, 200 staff in our uh, workplace, but only 10 of us are trained for this new pilot program. And on Thursday, I think there was only four of us at any one time, so it was really busy. Um, I ended up coming home and I had a massive headache. I had a nap to try and sleep away the headache. Um, but yeah, it was a really busy, really not fun day. Um, <laughs> I then wanted to mark down that on the way home from work because I had a headache and in hopes of feeling better because um, I thought it might have been that I hadn't eaten enough or something like that. I ducked into McDonald's and I got myself a burger um, that I enjoyed on the way home. I also got a chocolate thick shake actually, and it was delicious. So I've marked that in there. Um, I then also got another delivery from SPC. So these two deliveries that I got from this week, uh, sorry, got this week from SPC um, were some of the Wiggle Wednesday, Wiggle Wednesdays from a couple of weeks ago. So both of those arrived um, back to back days. Um, I then marked in, of course, that I uploaded my um, last week's plan with me video, this, uh, the Easter wishes video. If you haven't already, it is up on my channel. You can check it out. Um, and of course, I'm in a way. Then on Friday, I did my traditional Friday, marked down work and of course, getting petrol on the way home. Friday was a good day at work, but when I got home from work, hubby and I, well, we didn't have an argument. I just, 
I was using his iPad and I saw some unusual things and I brought it up with him because I overreacted and it was nothing and we had an argument as a result. Um, and it's been a while since we've had an argument. So I marked that down because it was just like it was random and once off and it was just ridiculous. Um, and after that I decided I've had a lot I, for anyone who's been following me like since the beginning you kind of know a little bit about what's been going on with my life um but prior to having started my youtube channel like there's a whole lot going on with my family there's just such a mess behind the scenes and I obviously don't really talk about too much of it on youtube um but it like things kind of build up for me I'm someone who tries to keep tries to keep everything like bottled up and contained and then it gets to a point where like the smallest thing will be what tips me over the edge and it just it's all hell from there um so that happened on friday and we had a bit of a disagreement we had a bit of a back and forth there were some tears on my part <laughs> um but we made up and we watched a movie and all of that sort of stuff so when he came home so <laughs> Before I had this argument with him, he'd actually gone that day and bought me a bunch of beautiful like native flowers and I didn't know that. So I picked this argument and he was just like, what the hell? Um, but he came home with a big beautiful bunch of flowers which I wanted to mark down. Um, they're sitting on my kitchen bench right now. Um, traditional Friday, we obviously had our usual pizza dinner and we watched a movie called The Silence um, on Netflix. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that one out. If you haven't already realized by now, generally Fridays and Saturdays for us are like movie nights in. We occasionally go out to the movies, but more often than not, we stay in and watch movies. Um, but yeah, we watched The Silence and it's just, it's an unusual movie. Um, it's, I don't know what genre you would call it. It's like, I don't know, it's like about this, it's kind of when I read the description for the movie it reminded me of like the birds where you've got like some like the birds were obviously attacking people in this instance it's bats and they're like attacking people and these bats I don't know has something to do with like they were locked away for years and years and years and then some miners like broke through the rocks and let them free and then they like took over um, and they were blind as a result of having been locked in the cave but now they have this like ultrasonic hearing. Um, so obviously to survive, everyone had to be silent. So essentially it's just the movie sort of unfolds and you see obviously everything sort of as to what happened, what happens, what the end result is. Really interesting movie, it definitely kept me on edge. So definitely worth the watch if you are interested. Um, on Saturday, I YouTube binged again. I feel like I'm forever YouTube binging. I really need to get a new hobby. <laughs> um, I also wanted to mark down and I didn't have enough room on the Friday. Um, that's why I put like a little swirly arrow here. So on Friday, my first PR pack and order um, from Sticker Thief arrived. So I wanted to make a note of that because it was really, really cool. Um, then we just chilled out in the afternoon, had some hot chips, uh, hot chip sandwiches for lunch. I had to wash my hair and then we went out for my friend Vanessa's birthday, um, to a local pub and we had some really delicious pasta and I had a couple of wines and it was just a really great night. Um, and then on Sunday, um, which is today, I got up, had a coffee, um, have to do some laundry, do some cleaning. I had to message the RTA because I was meant to go in and change my license yesterday and I was meant to change it the weekend before, but I haven't gotten around to it. I just haven't had enough time. Um, as you guys would have seen, I've had so much on on the weekends and even next weekend, like with Easter, I'm flat out. Um, but I needed to message the RTA to confirm whether or not it's going to cost me money to, to renew my license because I actually renewed my license for five years the year before we got married. And I paid like however much money it was so if i don't have to pay i would rather not have to pay and so i wanted to confirm that before i go in because i obviously need to know if i'm going to need to have money available for that um so i've done that and then this little green flag here is just to mark that i am of course filming for you guys and then as per usual i've left sunday open as to whether i upload we go out we do something we watch a movie um so yeah, just to talk you through some of the stickers that I've used this week. So as I said, I talked to you all through the overlays. Um, I've of course used my little coffee cups from Scribble Prints Co. 
uh, Coffee Monday sticker from Arctic Paper Studio, the little page dividers um, or header overlays, however you want to use them, are from Arctic Paper Studio as well. I've of course got some Fox and Cactus, some Marshmallow Studio, more Minic Plans, Arctic Paper Studio, I have Coffee Monsters Co, um, Fox and Cactus again, some Scribble Prints Co, some Stella Bow Sticker Co, the little work scripts are from Arctic Paper also. We of course have the old school Scribble Prints Co glitter balloons. Speaking of, I don't think she sells them anymore and I'm almost out. If anyone does these kinds of balloons or similar or knows of stores that do, can you please link them in the comments below because I need to stock up. Um, these gorgeous two stickers are from the ever so talented Maya at Sticker Thief Shop who I am now a PR for. Um, so it's just a little note bunny and a little girl. She's so this is one of her flower girls um, She's got I think one two three. I think she's got five varieties um, And they all come with like she's got ones with ombre hair. She's got ones with dyed colored hair They're really really cute. This one is the jasmine version. She's got brown uh, with blonde ombre hair, which is what I currently have um, But the best thing about these stickers is that they're actually hand-drawn so she draws these from scratch um, so again, if you guys haven't checked her out, definitely do that. Um, my link, the link will be in the comments below. Um, you can also use my PR code MELTHIEF for 15% off your order. Um, but definitely, definitely check out her store. She also takes custom orders as well of pets and things like that. Um, Syllabo, we've got Scribble Prints Co, Sticky Committee, um, Fox and Cactus, Arctic Paper, Manic plans and I and their banner is Manic plans as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for this week's video, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do about next week. Oh my gosh, that lighting is so bad. Um, does my light? Let's see if my light makes any difference. Oh, that makes it really, really yellow. See, I usually use that one, but then I feel like it's really glary. Hmm. I don't know, it's a little bit better, but it's kind of glary. It looks like I'm filming at night time now. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's this week's spread. I will do a little... See, you can't even see the wiggle. No, I'm turning it off, guys. Um, so I'm going to do a little wiggle for you guys. Lots of foiled silver goodness. Oh, I love it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.